Jerome Hughes, got uh, the beautiful Amy Park behind us. We've got the Melbourne skyline, mate. This is your home for the next three years after this, this year. Why did you re-sign? Yeah, it was, it was a tough decision, but uh, at the end, I thought, you know, I made the right one. Um, staying at a club like Melbourne was, uh, was always going to be hard to, to give away, I guess, and come to love the, uh, love the city and um, love the club. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here for another three years. Some big money on the table, some, some good offers. Why did you turn them down? Yeah, fake news, mate. It wasn't that much money. Uh, nah, but like I said, mate, it's, uh, it's, uh, it was a hard one. Um, you know, it's, I love this club. Uh, you know, they've done so much for me and my family, and uh, you know, I thought I'd be able to pay the, you know, pay them back for what they've done for me, develop my game, and uh, by signing here for another three years. Had the opportunity come to, to be here at Melbourne. I remember my first talk with Craig, Craig Bellamy. Um, he rang me. I was driving, and I was, I seen his number pop. I was like, shit, better pull over here. <laughs> Took a couple of breaths and then answered, and then just the way he spoke, you know, I knew it was going to be the right decision. You know, he told me it wasn't, it wasn't going to be easy, you know. He told me again I might not be playing first grade, but, um, you know, they, they, they see something in me and they think they could work with it. So uh, once I heard that from a guy like Craig Bellamy, I thought, oh, I've got to go. Having the likes of the big three down here and then Craig, just thinking, go down there, be a sponge, learn as much as I can. I'll never, I guess, it's probably the wrong way to think about it, not really backing myself, but I never thought I'd be able to push my way into that team having those sort of players around, but um, just learning off them, uh, learning off Billy, uh, Craig. And when I first come down, those those guys were, you know, I guess the first ones to, you know, you know, help me out. They wanted to help me out too, and uh, that's, makes, that's what makes this club so special. Tell me about the influence Cooper Cronk had on you and, and developing you into a seven. Yeah, yeah, he's been, he's been great. You know, when I first moved um, into the halfback, he, he said reach out to me whenever. He, he was sort of in a similar position to me. He wasn't really a halfback either. And um, I remember Craig telling stories that uh, Cooper turned himself into a halfback and he just, just how hard he worked and uh, just how much, how much time he spent on, you know, becoming the player he wanted to be. And I think that's why he's, he's ended up, you know, the way he did and with the career he did, being such a success, successful player. And, you know, that's something I need to build into my game. I need to, you know, be willing to work hard to be better at the things that I need to be better at. So, um, you know, I'm still working on that. 2021 now, a bit different here at the Melbourne Storm. Uh, there's no goat out in the field there anymore. How is it different without Cameron? Yeah, the goat's in the retirement uh, paddock, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, is, it is weird, uh, especially, you know, having such a big figure like him not, not being there. It was, it was actually pretty good last year. He sort of wanted me to take over a bit, which was, you know, daunting for me. We're having Cameron Smith in your team, and he wants you to take over. So, but I think it's it's helped me uh, prepare, I guess, for this year. Uh, not worth not having him. You know, he sort of sort of gave me a boost to you know have that confidence to be able to run a team, and you know, having done that last year and leading into this year, it's going to be a big help.